So for this project, I'll be using the um, crochet thread. This is a Monaco crochet cotton mercerized and it's 175 meters. It doesn't say the size. This is the shade. And this one is Canon. This is um, not softer than this one. So since I don't have the pink one so I'm gonna use this one so the first step would be I'm gonna make the uh, finger sleeve for the uh, thumb so this is what we're gonna make first and to make that we're gonna make a magic ring and the hook that I'll be using is 1.75 Next is we're going to chain one first to bring up the yarn and then I'm gonna put this one on the side first and then chain or work six single crochets in the magic ring So to work in spiral, uh, make sure you have six single crochets in total. And then we're not going to slip stitch, but into the next stitch, which is the first single crochet that we've made. So that is where we're going to work our first or two single crochets. So we're going to work one and two. So if you're a beginner, make sure to add a stitch marker so that you will know where you're going to start the next round. And since I know I should have 12 single crochets in total, so I'm going to count by twos. So into the next stitch. I'm going to work two, so it's going to be four. Six. Eight. To the last stitch, twelve. So all in all, I have a total of twelve single crochets. Now, for round three, I'm going to work just one single crochet to every stitch. So what I'm going to do into the next stitch, this will be my first stitch. So you can add a stitch marker there. To mark the 
first stitch of the round. So on round three, I'm gonna work one single crochet to every stitch. So this is my first. So I should have 12 single crochets in total. Two, three, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now, this is round 3 and I already have 12 single crochets in total. So at this point, we're going to work an increase again on round 4. So on round 4, we're going to work an increase into every second stitch. So the next stitch will be our first single crochet of round 4. So we're going to work a single crochet in here and then two in the next. So we should have 18 single crochets in total. So I'm going to count one, two, three. I already have three stitches. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and the last stitch 17 18 so we have worked an increase into round 4 if you got confused and you want to go back and count the number of rounds you can start from the center and always count to the right side so this is the last stitch count on this side so one two three and four and then from here on rounds five until you get the length that you want for your uh, finger sleeve for the thumb just keep on working one single crochet into every stitch so Say for example, you really want to know the number of rounds because in my case, I don't need to count. I, I will only stop until I get the height that I want. But if you'd like to know the rows in total, just add a stitch marker there and keep working one single crochet into every stitch. So the next step would be um, weaving in the ends and this is what I do. And then into the same. the yarn so that it will look like a series of chain and then next is we're going to Here, 
I did almost probably more than 10 rows so this size is for people with small hands if you have bigger fingers then you can check out the uh, crochet stitch counting guide I will show you the next round if you need to increase more so um, if you're gonna increase more into the next round so you're gonna add 6 so 18 plus 6 that's gonna be the total number of the stitch that you're gonna add and then keep working one single crochet into each stitch for a few more rounds until you get this so for this kind of project it works best if you're gonna use a very thin yarn so the thinner yarn the better but you have to adjust the number of single crochets into the first and second round so in here I only did six and then two single crochets into every stitch around on round two and then on the third one I repeated one single crochet into every stitch around so meaning I started with six round two is 12 and then on round three until I get the length I like I only did one single crochet into every stitch around there so it's really great especially if you have a lot of uh, crochet threads that are or that have not been used and this is a great project for that and especially if you have a son who is into gaming so you can make him some of these so later on I will show you how I play or how I use this on my phone 